Xcode has been uploading YouTube videos for the past 10 years and is an icon in this community, inspiring countless YouTubers. And in this video, we're going to talk about how he got in this position. This is the rise of Xcode. It's 2010. MW2 is the biggest game out and it's the start of the YouTube craze. And Cody Miller, aka Xcode, just happened to be a 13 year old kid. The prime person to get into all this stuff. And seeing people on YouTube like Hutch, Whiteboy 7th Street, and Boys Gamer Tag will get X Cody inspired to become a YouTuber. Seeing how these people can just sit there and talk about anything and make it entertaining, this will get X Cody to invest in equipment, getting the Dazzle HD recorder, which was a step above most videos on the platform. But X Cody would take it a step further, and he would sell his iPod to get to a Pog HD PVR. And with this, X Cody could stand out from all the low quality gameplay on the platform. And at first, X Cody wasn't uploading the content he's known for. He was doing simple commentary on stuff in his life. And he would do this type of content for a while, till he got in serious trouble in real life. X Cody would get caught at a week long party with 10 grams of bud and grinders as a 15 year old. And this would cause X Cody to get 9 days in juvie and 6 months of probation. And this would be around the same time he would switch up his content, cause he couldn't do anything. He had to stay in his house, he couldn't go hang out with his friends and do what he wanted, so he focused on YouTube the whole time. In one of the first videos he made after the switch, you can still find online today. Hey guys, this is Cody or Xcode. I'm bringing you a gameplay on the map. Uh, damn, I don't even know what map this is. Uh, the story I like to tell in this gameplay is uh, the first time I smoked weed. Um, I, I, I know, well, if any of you subscribers have been watching my videos lately, then you know that I'm on house arrest right now, and I just recently got arrested, so I can't smoke weed. And uh, I don't know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not, I, I, would, I would be lying to you guys if I said I didn't miss it, but um, I don't know, I just thought I'd share, I'd show you the, the first time I ever smoked weed, because it it's kind of a funny story. So um, the first time I ever smoked weed, uh, I think I don't even remember why I got it. I, I'm not gonna drop any names, anyways. So, um, so I had it, and it was I think it was like the first day, or no, the last day of eighth grade. And so summer was beginning. It was getting kind of hot out. Uh, I was like, this, this is the best time to do it. I mean, the summertime is the time to do it. And so me and my friends went into the woods. When making the switch to the new style of content, X Cody seen immediate boost in views and subs. And throughout his high school, he grinded his YouTube. And at the start of his senior year, he had 20,000 subs on his channel. But this was also during the time where he dropped out of high school. See, something that has deeply affected X Cody for a long time is a condition he has where he constantly has a phobia of throwing up. And this is something X Cody has been dealing with most of his life. It would become too hard for him to go to school. So he ended up dropping out. And I understand, when you have something that makes it that hard to go about your life, Going to school is one of your last thoughts, so I completely understand that he dropped out. But this will also give X Cody a lot of time to grind his YouTube. And in 2015, X Cody would explode on YouTube, making a name for himself on the platform. And for a lot of X Cody fans, this is probably during the time where you became a fan of his. The teacher just never showed up to the room, so it was just me, him, and a bunch of other students. And the students were all, like, witnessing what just went down. It was hilarious. But, like I said, the teacher wasn't fucking there. In 2016, XCody would hit 100,000 subscribers and was one of the biggest names in the community. And this was also during the time where YouTube actually became a job for XCody, making money off his videos, which were getting thousands of views. But, XCody would have a major setback. Because if you've been on YouTube for a while, you know 2017 was not a good year to be a WeTuber on YouTube. And next Cody would be heavily affected by the ad apocalypse, having his whole channel almost deleted, and he would be forced to delete all of his videos, leaving him with a channel with 500,000 subscribers and no videos. Alright guys, so I'm sure you guys have been wondering what's been going on with my channel, and uh, this is the video where I'm going to explain it. Uh, it's pretty depressing, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty, it's pretty shitty what, what went down um i kind of made a video talking about it on my second channel already but i feel like a lot of people didn't see it even though a hundred thousand people saw it but I still get tweets comments on my twitch live streams they're just like when are you coming back to youtube what's going on they just have no clue let me break it down for you man let me break it down i got two community guideline strikes a couple months ago 
which means essentially it's basically like you broke the rules. All right? I broke the rules by smoking, by doing whatever I did to break the rules because they never really told me what I exactly did. I was very scared because I was watching other channels like mine, you know, that made similar videos to what I did, getting deleted left and right. Left and right, man, like it was no nothing, you know? Just deleted, terminated, three strikes. But I was very scared. I wanted to keep what I've built for the past eight years, so I did what I thought was smart and I deleted every single video I've ever made. Every single one, because if you think about it, think about it this way, man. If they're giving me guideline strikes for the videos and I delete all the videos, how are they gonna give me another strike? That's what I did and I waited the wait. I played it safe, I deleted every single video I made. Um, which was, it was very difficult to do, man, you know, it really, it, I was really upset, you know, for a lot of days about that shit, months, you know, I've been really depressed about the entire thing the past couple, couple months because it, it, it got to a point where I did the same thing every day, you know, eight years, I made a video, um, well, not every day, obviously, you know. I pretty much did the same thing every day, whether that be make, you know, record a part for a video and edit it, take a couple days to edit, you know, I've been a YouTuber for the past eight years, and when it got to, like, it got to the point where I just couldn't do what I did all those years. It just, it, it really sucked because number one, the main reason is because I, when I get, you know, when I get people telling me that my videos help them get through things and then when I can't do that, when YouTube s s takes that away from me, it, it was just, it was really unfortunate, man. It really, really was. Um, but then again, I want to, I want to go to this. I want to go, I want to go to this part of the video because a lot of people are like, fuck YouTube, you're the worst. Listen, man, it, I knew from the day that I started this, the day that I started this, that this could happen one day. Um, and it realistically, they could have gone about it in a better way, but realistically it is my fault. Okay. I'm not trying to say, you know, it's, it's their rogue backward ass mean. you know, YouTube's just being mean. It's not like that. It's just, I broke the rules. They want to clean up the platform and I just follow under the category of people they don't want. So yeah. So we're gonna make the return to YouTube. We're gonna make these kind of videos. We're gonna make sit down at home videos. I'm gonna tell stories. I'm gonna make vlogs. I'm gonna make PO box unboxings. Link in the description or address in the description. Send me something cool, bro. It's been a while, all right? Hopefully my camera's in the right setting and everything. Hopefully you can see my face. I'm gonna put this in the video regardless of if it looks good or not. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping it's gonna look good. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to come back and I'm not gonna be able to smoke in videos anymore. And I get it. I get it that Custom Grow, Raw OG, there's a whole bunch of people that are, that are, devil's lettuce in it up, all right? I get it, I get it. Can I just, just look at this. I'm just looking up at that. Look at the greenery, amazing. You guys wanna see the whole guardrail spot? Look at that. I get that they're doing it. They're just immune, I don't get it, all right? I don't fucking get it. They're risking getting guideline strikes every single day. I don't get it. Everybody's gonna tell me, they're like, bro, they're doing it, why don't you just do it too? Bro, I don't wanna be in the same position again, man. I don't wanna make five videos, 10 videos, and then just think I'm fucking scotch-free, and then boom, wake up to three three emails from YouTube, guideline strike, guideline strike, guideline strike, you're beat, dead channel, terminated. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck all of that. Demonetized for swearing. Will I ever make smoking videos again? Sure. Sure, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna try to make them low key in the future. I don't know, it's gonna be really difficult to, to really gauge out, figure it out, uh, what I can and can't do because YouTube will never make a statement about what weed tubers can do. And I don't really have a huge problem with not smoking in videos, it's just a lot different than everything I've done in the past eight, you know, couple years. I've just made these kind of videos, but we're gonna figure it out, we're gonna have a good time. After having his YouTube channel face deletion, Xcode would be forced to start fresh but you have to do this in a different way. See, a lot of Xcody's videos after the scare don't show consumption. He's simply just talking about it, which YouTube lets slide by. And this change didn't do anything to his views. If anything, it put him in the algorithm, which allowed him to get multiple videos with millions of views. And as of today, he's climbed to 900,000 subscribers and is probably gonna be the next YouTuber with 1 million subscribers, which not many do in this space. X Cody is one of the biggest VTubers to ever do this, and has helped inspire countless people to become a VTuber. And he did all this while having so many setbacks and still being on top. And to me, that makes X Cody one of the GOATs. But I want to know what you think. And until next time, PEACE!